Hi, today I want to talk about uh, rules of probability, about uh, statistics and in genetics we can find many many different problems when we need to know such rules. For example, just imagine that we have a family that has um, some particular disease in heterozygous form and this disease uh, can be, uh, for example, recessive and uh, parents would like to know the chances to have affected or ineffected baby or uh, imagine different example when two close relatives uh, want to have family and they have a family history of some particular disease and they also would like to know the chances to have affected or ineffected baby. So uh, you can easily sa solve such problems if you know rules of probability. And today I have a problem for you. What is the probability of rolling one six-sided die and obtaining the following numbers? And I want to start from a very simple example. Imagine that this is a coin and the coin has um, two sides and we have one half chances that if we toss it it would land on one of, of the sides and uh, we have also one half chances that if we toss it it would land on the other side so we can just add these probabilities and we will get 2 over 2 and if we divide 2 by 2 this is 1 so um, now I want to show another example. Imagine that we have a triangular object like this and it has uh, five sides but we can ignore these two sides because this is highly unlikely that such object would, if we throw it in the air, that it would land on one of these sides. So uh, we have one third probability that it would land on this side, one third that it would land on this side, and one third that it would land on this side. So this again, we can add these numbers, and what we'll get would be 3 over 3, that is equals to 1 also, if we divide 3 by 3. Now I want to show you one more example. Imagine that we have uh, such object. Also, this is uh, this object has uh, six sides, but we can ignore these two sides. So uh, let's assume that it has four sides, and for each side we have a probability to land that is one fourth, and. Once again, if we add all these four sides together, we will get uh, 4 over 4, that is 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So now I want to return to our problem. And here, dice. And if you count, dice has... Uh, three sides that is visible here and we do not see three more sides so this is uh, six sides six sides and uh, we can express it like one six plus one over 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 six so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six over six, that is one. So uh, one over six represent probability uh, to land on uh, one of the sides if we toss it. So um, question A, uh, what is the probability to get number two? And our answer is one, Six. So this is one side 
and all sides are equal in their probability. So uh, our answer would be here 1 over 6. Question B, 1 or 2. So we asked uh, what is the probability uh, to get uh, side with uh, number 1 or side with number 2. This is also easily to solve. We just have to add these probabilities and what we'll get is 2 over 6 and uh, we can simplify it like 1 over 3 just divided by 2. So uh, question B, correct answer 1 third and question C, an even number. So we have here um, 2, 4 and 6 that is even numbers and 1, 3 and 5 that is uh, odd numbers. So um, this give us these three numbers give us uh, 3 over 6 and these numbers, that is odd numbers, also give us 3 over 6. So once again uh, 3 over 6 equals to 1 half. So chances here is 1 half that uh, if we toss our die that will get even number. Same one half would be if we would uh, would be asked if uh, what chances to get uh, an odd number. So uh, the last question D: any number but six. We can solve it uh, in two ways. We just can add probabilities for five sides, and what we'll get would be five over six, or we can subtract. 6 over 6 minus probability to land on one side, uh, that is 6, the side with number 6 would be 5 over 6. So we can add probabilities for each side except one, or we just can subtract uh, probability to land on one side from the total probabilities for all sides. So correct answer here would be 5 over 6. So uh, this were very easy examples and uh, later I want to make more videos with more complicated examples and with uh, examples uh, taken from a genetic course from textbooks that uh, might help you uh, to solve such problems so please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.